Hey friends, it's Tyler from Activate, and today I've got onions at the top of my shopping list. Before I go pick some up, I want to go into some details on why onions of all kinds make for a great addition to your diet. I can feel my eyes starting to water just thinking about it. Alright, let's get into it. Types of onions. There are a lot. Just off the top of my head, there's red onions, green onions, yellow onions, sweet onions, and a lot more. I guess a lot of them are named by color actually, but in general though, different onions can have pretty different uses, so I'm just going to sort of cover the nutritional benefits and some culinary uses on the onion family in general. I'm talking about little plant things in the allium family. But let's start with some history. So onions have been around for thousands of years. People have been eating them for a long time. But people haven't just been eating them. Onions have been used for some pretty interesting things in the past. Onions were prescribed to raise fertility levels in people and animals. Sadly, at the time, people didn't know that onions can actually be toxic for a lot of animals, including dogs and cats. So yeah, don't feed animals onions. On to the lighter stuff. Literally, people used to use onions to supposedly lighten the balance of the blood. Apparently, athletes in ancient Greece did that. I don't even know what lightening your blood means, but supposedly, they thought it did something. And there's more. In the Middle Ages, onions were really important. People would even pay their rent with onions. I'm not sure how your landlord might feel about getting a couple onions for this month's rent, but you could always try. Anyways, let's get into culinary uses. That's what I'm more interested in. Onions are mostly chopped and added to filling warm dishes, but they can really do anything and even exist as the main ingredient on their own. Have you ever had French onion soup, for example? It's great, and I definitely recommend it. You can do so much with preparing onions. You could boil, grill, fry, roast, saute, or even eat some onions raw, especially red ones. When it comes to nutritional value, you'll get a decent varying range between different kinds of onions, but for the most part, the benefits are pretty similar across the board. Onions aren't exactly known for providing a huge amount of any one specific vitamin or mineral. A 100 gram raw serving of onions will have almost all listed vitamins and trace minerals registering at under 10% of your daily suggested intake. But there's also hardly any fat. Onions are going to give you a decent chunk of polyphenols as well and subsequently flavonoids, and that means antioxidants and anti-inflammatory effects. On top of that, if you feel like you're a robot because you haven't had a good cry for a while, you can always bust out some onions and then just cut them until a few solemn tears drip down your face. Everyone needs a good cry now and then, and how about with the added benefit of cooking up some delicious onions? Maybe you can use your tears instead of cooking oil. So that's onions. Do you love them? Are your cupboards so full of onions that you can't open them? Do you have to climb over a mountain of onions to get out the front door? Do you pay your rent with onions? Tell me about it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.